Video number two of a series of three, mixing the chemicals. If you've already done that step, you won't need to do it again. This is good for, they say you can extend the life of chemicals up to 24 rolls, so that's yet to see. As you know, this is my first time trying that out. Uh, but yes, once you do it, you're good for 20, 24 rolls. You're gonna need you're gonna need a uh, thermometer, plastic stick, gloves, measuring cylinder, mixing powders, distilled water, two liters because you're gonna need one liter for each. This is by the way a two bath process, so uh, maybe you have a stabilizer at the end of it, but it's uh, apparently not necessary anymore because the films have uh, stabilizers in them and a small pan uh, to boil the water. So that's what you need. So it seems to be a very thorough, uh, very easy uh, process. The only thing that you need to do first is to boil the water to, uh, I think it's 110 degree Fahrenheit or 43 degrees Celsius. So I'm gonna pour in one liter of distilled water. There might be some uh, some water vapor, so I'm gonna pour a little more. Okay, so I'm gonna pour that in my small pan. There you go. And I'm gonna start this to boil. There you go. All right, so let's take the measure of that. See, it's already almost at 40, 43. Ooh. So, yeah, guys, I'm already at 115. So I'm gonna take that off. This was fast. It's not boiling water, right? So lesson number one, don't, uh, don't wait too long because this is fast. I don't know if this is really important. I read the instructions. Some people are saying this is really important for the uh, chemicals to uh, dilute. I really don't know. So I'm just gonna follow the instructions to do it. I think it was between 110 and something. So, all right. Okay, that's good enough. I, I'm at uh, 111. So what I need to do now is uh, pour it to 600 milliliter. Oop. <laughs> Making a mess at the same time. So my advice to you guys, if you have a uh, 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 a pan with a uh, thingy, it's gonna be easier. Okay, so add to the list towels. <laughs> so I'm at 600, perfect. So what I'll do, if you have a, uh, if you have a mixing jar, it's even better but I have mason jars, which are, you know, big enough for me. So I'll just mix it directly in the jar. Some people might prefer to mix it in a Pyrex. Um, so as simple as that, they say, yeah, pour into, uh, so let's open this. Now, I have funnels, but I don't think I'm gonna need them, and they weren't in my list. So, just gonna do that, like so. All right, and let's mix this. All right, doesn't seem too complicated. Oh, by the way, guys, I think I should need to put them 
put those on before I continue to do this. I've seen a lot of people not using gloves, but I have them, so. I'm, I'm a chem, chemist or something. So now I need to add 400 milliliters. Just a little more. Should be good. Yeah, that's too much. You know, like back in high school when we used to do these uh, experiments. So I'm gonna add this in. All right. Okay, I know my mason jars are exactly one liter, but it's getting very hard to mix with the stick. So what I'll do, I'll rinse that first with hot water, making sure this is good. All right, so I'll, uh, just close this very tightly. And now, just for the sake of making sure this is mixed properly. I should probably keep that down on the counter. Okay, this seems to be good, good to go. So one down. Now I need to repeat the process for the Blix. Perfect, exactly 110. So I'm gonna do that. So now this is a bit different. I need to pour in 600 milliliter inside. Yeah, works better that way. Just pour and take off. Okay, that's good enough. So, same thing, pour it down. Now this is a two-step uh, mixing procedure. So first of all, I need part A uh, of the packet. Yeah, so I need to add part A to this. Steer a bit. By the way, it's uh, it, this steering stick needs to be clean. So make sure it is clean when you do this. Mm -hmm. Yeah, a lot of people were complaining this is not uh, a good smell. And they are right. It smells like uh, when you're dying hair. This is how it smells. It's not too bad. Uh, people are freaking out over it, but. So that's A. Then I need to add the content of B. Hmm. I thought I had a uh, another mason jar somewhere. Yeah. So I need to put it, pour it back and forth between two jars. And I really thought I had. 
add a bit of that. This uh, creates a, uh, they call it endothermic reaction. So I guess it's gonna heat up a bit. So right there, just adding slowly. So see, I didn't really need funnels for this. And I'd rather not because then I would need to wash it, rinse it and whatnot. So this is a really easy and straightforward process, it really is. Okay, so now I'm gonna throw that away. Now I'm gonna grab a, uh, a third jar so I can mix in between. Okay, so what I'll do, just to make sure I'm not destroying my countertop, which I don't think my girlfriend would uh, mind because she's been, she's been telling me she wants to change it for the last two years. So yeah, okay. So let's uh, do this. Like so they say pour solution back and forth. See, there's a bit of residue so I think it's probably why we need to do this a few times. Okay, so I think I've done that like 20, 20 something times. Now let me just check my temperature on this. Yeah, it's good enough because it took a bit of time to get my other mason jar. There you go. Okay, so last step of mixing the chemicals, the, the Blix chemical is this. And they say circulate it while you do that. So I guess, I guess I'm done. And I'm gonna close that. So I'm going to rinse that with very hot water and I wouldn't recommend using food, using it for food once you've done that. I wouldn't do it. So this is rinsed off. You know what? I'm just going to grab a towel just to dry it. Okay. And that's, uh, that's it for the, uh, Mixing chemicals. Don't uh, don't forget to watch the first video if you don't know how to reel your uh, your film cassette into uh, into a developing tank, and uh, join me on the third video on how to uh, how to process your film at home.